and I'm a project engineer for Robson Civil. As a project engineer, we need to coordinate the works on site for what is happening. And my role involves organising the crews to put their works on site, making sure that they've got the materials that they need to do the job. So that might involve uh, pieces of plant like excavators or machines, could involve uh, procurement of items such as steel, stormwater pits, concrete, um, procurement of paper materials including base and sub-base, uh, organising asphalt and curbs for the works on site. Um, to do with this as well, it also involves a lot of budgeting, um, estimating and making sure that we are buying the materials for the correct price and making sure that the job's making a profit, as well as providing a quality job for the end client, which will be the say on this one here, the council. I'm director of Holland, and at the moment I'm currently widening a road. I've had two lanes to a road um, and we've had to do a whole bunch of foundation treatment, we still do storm water, still an ACCO line, putting new power poles and Working on the North Connects project, I'm a project engineer um, as part of the final lining team. Um, our part of the project looks at installing the waterproof membrane and um, installing the final lining stage of the project tunnels. So after I complete my uh, internship, I just uh, got an opportunity to work as a site engineer for this job. The first thing is communication. The basic thing uh, for this job is communicating with the client, communicating with the crew, communicating with the suppliers. So basically communication is the key to this job. and. That's one of the key parts that I need to do all the day, every day. I guess with the with a project of this magnitude, a lot of um, there's a lot of interaction with different groups trying to get things done all at the same time. So a lot of it is coordinating and trying to um, plan ahead, making sure that when we do it, we do it once and we do it right. Here we've got a tight job where we need to do a fairly large road reconstruction in a in a tight time frame. So we've only got 20 weeks, and we've effectively got to remove all of the existing road on site, treat any of the underlying material, and then we've got to replace the road on top of that and have have that all back up and running within 20 weeks. So one of our biggest constraints on site can be timeframes and meeting that. Um, and the way that we overcome this is perhaps by getting a lot more crews on site. We might not have one crew working in one area, we might have two or three or even four crews working across the, in the entire length of the project. So by having multiple crews running at the same time, we can effectively reduce our overall time frame for the project and deliver the project ahead of time and hopefully under budget. The most rewarding part of my job is seeing the end result and seeing a great project being delivered. People like who I know buy the house here, like I can proudly say them, the, pump, the waste pump station that was built by me, <laughs> I can definitely say that. <laughs> oh look, I think the civil construction industry is a great industry to work in. Um, the jobs do vary across the uh, across many different places, so if you like to do a bit of travel, it's a very good job for that as well. Uh, and it's something that keeps you motivated and keeps you very interested because the jobs develop and they change a lot. And that's one of my favourite things with this career as well is that I might work on one job for six months and then I'll do another job in the next six months and it could be completely different. I might be working on, on bridges one month and the next month I'll be working on road and then the next month I'll be working on drainage or I'll be working on dams or something like that. So there's a lot of different aspects that come with the civil construction industry and specifically with civil engineering as well. So if you like a wide variety of projects and like to be across a number of things then I think it's a great career option. Definitely interesting. You can't get bored. You definitely cannot get bored. Every day you're learning. It doesn't stop, it just it's constant. Yeah. <laughs> I'd say give it a go. I, I, re I really enjoy it personally. I think it's for everyone. Um, it's not a boys' world anymore, it's for girls as well, and it's, it's for yeah, everyone.